In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're going to look at the CFG Windows virus. Now, here it is on the desktop, and it's got an icon of a heart there. Now, CFG is written in Turkish. They use the Turkish language, and if you know what Turkish is, you'll know that CFG is the Turkish word for love. So that kind of explains the reason that there's a heart symbol here for its icon. So let's see if we can view any properties about it. So it's about a 203 kilobyte or so program. Don't really have any extended properties about it that we can look at. So we're just going to go ahead and run it. And it brings up this little dialog box that's got language all in Turkish. And let me read the translation of what that says. So it says, hey. Get your damn hands off the mouse, you naughty thing. Who am I talking to? I'll break your damn neck off. So that's what the translation of the Turkish of all that is in the little dialogue box. Now you probably notice in the background right now, even while I was talking, that the mouse pointer is moving all over the screen. And if I kind of click in places, you see I'm clicking there, I'm clicking there, I'm selecting stuff, bringing up menus in different spots. And it also disables keyboard keys, like I can press the Windows key, it doesn't bring up the Start menu. I can press Control alt delete Control alt delete doesn't bring up the Task Manager. Control escape the little Windows shortcut, does not do anything either. But, if you're confident in using your computer with a keyboard, that doesn't mean that you still can't do some other things here. So, I just apparently clicked on the taskbar and made the taskbar move all the way up, which I didn't exactly want to do. I don't know if I can move that down, because I need to get on the desktop. I need Let's see. So, I can at least still show you some stuff going on here in the meantime. So, it drops a copy of itself after you first run it into the Windows directory as sysfile.exe and it will have that red heart icon on there so let me bring it down here again if you're confident enough to use your computer without the mouse you can get around this virus's payload fairly easily so keep on going, keep on going not seeing it yet. Am I looking in the right directory is the question. System. So it's not the Windows directory, it's the Windows system directory. So let me go back up. So system. Go down to the S's. Why am I not seeing the dropped file? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I can't even use the find command. That kind of stinks. Let's try system 32. No, nope, not system 32. I know it drops the file. Although this is Windows Millennium, so it may be behaving a little differently on Windows Millennium than Windows 95 and 98 like I'd expect it to. As I tested it on those operating systems, not Millennium. Well, anyway, it does drop a file called sysfile.exe with the same heart icon into the Windows System folder, and then it creates a Windows Registry entry to launch it at Windows Startup so we get this business all there. So I'm going to load up Task Manager and look what Task Manager calls it. He he he. Let me see if I can close this out in task. Is it going to let me in the task? I won't allow that. 
All right, let's try to work around. So when you get into Tiny Watcher, you can see that there's a registry entry there called HQ Local Machine, blah, blah, blah. If we kind of look at it here, if we can. See, it points to C Windows System sysfile.exe, but you know we looked in the system folder and we did not find sysfile.exe, so it seems on Windows Millennium the payload somewhat does not work and that it doesn't drop the file there like it's supposed to but it does do it on Windows 95 and 98 machines because I tested it on those and it does drop the file in that directory and there's also the running process so let's see if we can stop it this way Yes, terminate the process. And now we got our menu back. And there we are. And again, it's got that registry entry. Let's remove that registry entry. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but we'll get rid of it anyway. So, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to the SebG Windows Trojan. But again, let me see if I can do a search here for sysfile.exe. We'll just do sysfile. Search is complete. There's nothing there. So it does not drop the program on Windows Millennium. But it, again, it does do it on Windows 98 and Windows 95. So again, that's it for the SebG Windows Trojan.